In this pro bike, we're going to take a look at Kiwi rider Sam Gazers, and it's his custom S Works specialized bike from the World Championships in Nova Mesto. <laughs> Let's kick it off by having a look at the frame. So it's a full carbon frame. It's been painted for the World Championships, baby blue with red s work stickers. And you've got these aluminum links that connect the specialized brain shock. The drivetrain is supplied by SRAM. So he's got that Eagle group set. It's a one by system. You've got a nine cog all the way up to 50 tooth. It's an absolutely massive range. You've got the Eagle mech, that gold chain, and then a SRAM XX1 cranks as well. They've actually got that quark power meter as well. That'll be taken off for the race just to save some weight. You're actually noticing as well that it's got a chain guide mount there as well, and that'll depend. That'll get fitted just in time for the race, depending on what size ring he's going to be using. At the moment, we've got a 36 tooth ring on there, and the crank length is 175 millimeters. There's also a set of Luke titanium pedals, and they've actually got the World Championship stripes already on them as well. The wheel set is a Roval. It's a Control SL. It's a carbon rim, so minimizing any weight and giving that maximum amount of stiffness. The tires are also supplied by Specialized, and they're the Renegade Gripper R tires. The suspension, while well, the front fork is actually supplied by RockShock, and it's got that Specialized brain system built in. We'll find out a little bit more about that from Sam and just how that works. Likewise, with that rear shock, you've got the specialized brain system, and that's manufactured by Fox. Let's take a look at the cockpit. So I'm going to kick off by looking at the bars. There are specialized S-Works, they're 700 millimeters in width, and the stem is also an S-Works. It's 130 millimeters in length, and it does look pretty big. The grips are foam, and they're in those world championship colors. You've got a set of SRAM ultimate level brakes, and they've got a carbon lever, again, just minimizing any weight. The bike's finished off with a carbon bottle cage. His name throughout the bike, and it's also actually on this titanium seat clamp with his name there. Carbon seat post from Specialized, and also you've got an S-Works saddle. So we've checked out your bike, Sam. We've got a couple of questions for you as well. The first one's going to be about that power meter. Do you use that in the race, or do you actually take that off and then put on a normal stock crank set? Yeah, it really depends on the, the race. Uh, I mean, for a World Cup or World Championship, it's a really major event. You uh, obviously take it off because yeah, you don't really need the data, you just need the result. Uh, for smaller races and training, I always seem to have the power meter on. Uh, it helps a lot collecting data and working with the training, and it always relays into a good plan. Yeah. And that specialised brain system that we've seen, it's really nice to see you don't have any excess cables. How does that work? Can you, can you tell us a little bit about how you use it? Yeah, I think that's what uh, separates the S-Works Epic away from any other full suspension bike. Uh, the brain is, yeah, it's amazing. I wouldn't race without it now that I've read it, ridden it. Uh, the way it works is that there's the, the shock on there and then they've got the brain at the back and that obviously dampens out. And so when you hit the suspension or when you hit the uh, any terrain which is bumpy, it blocks in and blocks out and then the same again on the front. And so it makes it a quite clean looking bike and also it just works phenomenally, you know, and so there's no need for the for the suspension lockout. Um, also, you can uh, adjust it on the front and rear, depending on how much you want the brain to be working or not. You, so you can completely let the brain off and it doesn't do its job, and then you can put, put it on firm as it goes, and then that's when it reactivates. Moving on from the suspension, things like the stem as well. You've got quite a long one at 130 millimeters. Do you ever change that out for something shorter, depending on the course? Uh, no, I come from a background of road cycling and stuff, and so. The long stem suits my riding style. Uh, I've grown up with it, so it's just natural to me. Uh, I have a stump jumper back home and trail bike, and that there's got a shorter stem on it. And but yeah, cross country bike and road bike and all, all my racing bikes all got the long stem. I like it because it spreads me out a bit more, uh, a bit more comfortable on the bike, and it just yeah, it works for me. Thanks, Sam, for letting us check out your bike, and congratulations on the World Championships. If you want to watch some more videos on GMBN, then why don't you click on me, and you'll get to a full pro bike playlist. And if you want to check out what mountain biking is, you can click on me. Don't forget to subscribe, it's completely free and you get a great video every day of the week.